Agni asks us, what exercise can I do instead of pull-ups or chin-ups? Ready, go. Nothing! <laughs> What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Cactus Time with the Zen Dudes. You guys ask us questions and we answer them. <laughs> Music like Gary V Show. Yeah, Gary V, who, for those of you who don't know, Gary Vaynerchuk does a show called The Ask Gary V Show. It's super helpful and it's super successful with his community, so we just decided to like totally copy him and just have the Ask the Zen Dude show. Yeah. Cactus time. With Cactus the time. So here's the format. We're going to pick questions that were asked in our four week challenge and dojo, and then we're going to answer them. 30 seconds each, sometimes it'll be less than 30 seconds, but we're going to try to answer as many questions as we can in yeah. like a 30 minute period of time. This show would not be possible without our awesome sponsors that we use every day, which is Athletic Greens, which is a, uh, a nutrition company. They mm -hmm. make things like branch chain amino acids, which are good when you're in the fasted state so your muscles don't break down. Mm -hmm. Then we have over here, look at this. Mm. This is Athletic Greens juice powder. And what it is, guys, is basically if you have a tough time hitting all your micronutrients, which Let's be honest, not all of us eat vegetables every day. Let's be honest. Don't, don't you lie. Don't lie. Don't, don't lie to don't us. Don't lie. Get your micronutrients with this green juice powder. And also, we've said this before, it's the best tasting one by far. Not only the best by quality, far. the best tasting one. Most other green juice powders taste like shit. Please Taste like dog turds. Dog turds. All right, over here, we have featured Last Thing Athletic Greens Protein. Well, dude, watch your hand, man. You got really close to that cat. I know, man. We I got. Want, I want to look out for you. We got dangerous plants on the table because we dangerous guys. Yeah, cactus time. Arr! We got the protein powder here. It's grass fed. It's grass fed. Do you know what that means? It means the cows that created this protein only ate grass. You know what that means? You ain't got pesticides and all kinds of mess. Uh, maybe you do have pesticides. I think, I think it just means that it, the protein is made with grass no no it doesn't <laughs> the cows eat grass and finally we have the cross rope brought to you by cross rope yeah this is the agility set and uh, look guys we say this all the time but there's a reason why we are so confident in saying that it's the best jump rope on the market and that's because it is until you guys show us a better one that's what we're gonna keep going with. It is the most durable. Um, you can also do, it's great for beginners or if you're more advanced, they have many different options mm -hmm. for handles, types of ropes that you would wanna jump with. So Cross Rope is our company. Check it out in the link below. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, we get a lot of comments on YouTube with people who are like, that's way too expensive or it's way too expensive to ship to my country. Um, can I have a cheaper jump rope? And while I totally understand that, like we totally get that. And I'm always someone, you know, looking for a deal. I'm yeah, someone deals on deal. deals. You guys actually are gonna end up saving more money by investing in the cross rope. And I say that because the hassle that I've had to go through, that we've had to go through, mm -hmm. replacing shitty jump ropes sucks. If you just get, it really is a get what you pay for thing. If you just get an awesome rope right the first time, then you don't have to worry about replacing it um, every couple of months when it breaks and then you just have this awesome rope. So what we're saying is put the investment in, you're gonna be happy. Question number one. Wait, so, are you doing me? You doing me? Well, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. And then you can answer and then I'll ask you. Okay, okay, cool. All right, ready? Question number one, our boy Jason, OG from Zendu Fitness asks, what skincare products do you do to use for shaving, moisturizing, etc.? Ready, go. Dove soap, literally. I, I Dude, I take Dove soap bars and like uh, put it on my, my face for shaving. Nice. And then I, I, I wash my hair with that and, uh, and my body. Done. What do you use? I use whatever my girlfriend has in the shower. So she has about 12 bottles in there. I usually just use the soap. 12 bottles. Dude, Jason, I, we, don't, we don't use anything, man. But we probably will as we get older to make sure, you know, we don't get creases in the eyes. Also, by the way, there's like no reason. Like, it's not like I'm against. I, I do feel though, like one day I just woke up and ran out of shaving cream and was like, I can just use soap. Exactly. All right, next question. Nathan asks, can you give us some bodyweight exercises that can replace some gym exercises when you don't have access to the gym? Dan, go. <laughs> yeah, to be straight up with you guys, push-ups, pull-ups, and lots of uh, squats, particularly not just like bodyweight squats, air squats, jumping squats, so plyometric types of movements. I'm a big believer that if you eat correctly, hit your calories and macros and get your micronutrients, if you just do pull-ups, 
push-ups and lots of different types of squats and jumping, you're gonna look very sexy. Go, Brandon. I agree. Next question. Agni asks us, what exercise can I do instead of pull-ups or chin-ups? Ready, go. Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. Exercise instead of pull-ups or chin-ups to get to achieve the same. I'm, I'm assuming that you're same muscle groups. Same muscle groups. Um, you could do inverted rows, which is basically hanging underneath something and pulling yourself up. For example, this is kind of dangerous. You have to be careful. I wouldn't do Ten it with seconds. a glass table. You can hang underneath the table like this. I could get down underneath there and pull myself up. I would say inverted rows as well. Otherwise, you can lift weights, which we have available in the gaining muscle. Course. What you could do is negative, pull up negatives. There you go. So if you can't do pull ups or chin ups, do pull up or chin up negatives. Oh, like Ooh, this. Ooh, Matthew Javier. Hey, Matt. OG, great coach in the dojo, says, What happens when you meet your goal? Make a new one or find harmony? Go. Both. Me personally, like when I reach a goal, I'm always like, I'm a type of person who's like, I gotta do something. I have to like find the next thing and conquer it. But at the same time, what I've gotten better about in my later 20s is being grounded in the present. So even when I'm chasing that next thing and I accomplish something, I'm still enjoying the whole process and I feel very confident in saying that. I finally am at a point in my life where I really do enjoy the process. Brandon, go. Me personally, um, yeah, I think I'm always creating a vision that I'm going towards, but you know, life is only enjoyable when you're in the present moment. So, you know, man, we're always doing our best. I'm doing my best to be here, be present, and just enjoy the heck out of this, this podcast. All of this is going on right now. Next question, Tanvir. Tanvir? Tanvir. Tanvir asks, are you living your dream or chasing it? Ooh, that's Go. a great question. Um, I can honestly say I'm living my dream. Like literally, if the only thing I want to do in my life, I, I literally wake up every day and do exactly what I want. Like this is my dream, making videos and communicating with you guys. That's why we do it every day and also, I just want like more money to have more freedom to go places, but I think when I have more money, like my dream in like day to day is not gonna change. Like I've hit it, now it's just like, I wanna live it at a higher and higher level. Beep. Yes! Oh, I, it's, sound, it's weird, I think right really, really similarly as Dan, um, I feel like I'm living my dream right now. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do, like exactly what I wanna do, and as we scale and this becomes a bigger and bigger movement, we just get to do more of what we're already doing. So it's like, I'm living my dream, but I get to live my dream even more as this bigger continues scale. to scale. So yeah. 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 Sorry man, I like sat on my right You gotta back. be careful with that man. Oh, All right, ready? Next question, Mono asks, any resources other than MyFitnessPal or books, online courses, et cetera, you, that you use to make eating right easier? Okay. You're in the dojo, so you have access to the entire Simple Meal system. Stop looking for more stuff. All the information that you would need to get lean and stay that way is in the course that you're already in. And I don't say that to like just rep Zen Dude stuff, but this is the problem with seeking other information, guys. You already have access to the information, just do it. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. That's my advice. I agree fully. You have my fitness pal. You have the simple meal system. If you're in our course, you don't need anything besides those two things to reach your goals. All right, the homie Diego asks, what are the most useful bodyweight exercises to grow muscle Diego! that can replace the weightlifting workouts? Go. I'm going to read it again because I, I interrupted you and yelled and I'm sorry. What are the most useful bodyweight exercises to grow muscle that can replace the weightlifting, weightlifting workouts? workouts? Honestly, pull-ups, the same thing I said for the other answer, pull-ups, push-ups, different types of squats, and plyometric squats. Those are my top, holla at your boy. Marcos asked, if you take BCAs while you're in your fasting period, doesn't does that take them, <laughs> if you guys take BCAs while on your fasting period, doesn't taking them breaks the same fasting period? Go. No, because BCAs, and this is the, this is the awesome sauce about BCAs, check this out. They have less than 50 calories. There's very few BCA mm -hmm. supplements that have a lot of calories. Because remember, they're the building blocks of protein, mm -hmm. okay? Protein is the building blocks of muscle. So they actually don't have that many calories. So when you consume them, you stay in the fasted state. And that's the whole reason for taking them. Brandon, go ahead. 100% agree. Uh, you're not breaking your fast because for most people, it's around 40 to 70 calories is how many calories you need to break your fast. And what does it say here? Well, what, 
Um, there's like 10 calories. I don't even think it says on there. Yeah, it doesn't even say because there's none. No calories. Doesn't so it doesn't break your fast. Don't worry about it. All right. Tiffany asks, when and how did you guys get started jumping rope? Dan, go. All right. So I got started jumping rope because our dude, dude, one of my best friends, Brendan, who actually is joining us. He's in the mm -hmm. dojo. Brendan, shout out. We love you. But Brendan's also joining Zen Dude Fitness to start our Espanol presence. You know, Espanol means Spanish. And Brendan, I visited him in Boston when I lived in New York. He was like, dude, pick up a jump rope. I picked up a jump rope. I lost a bunch of weight, started base jump, started Zen Dude Fitness, holler at your boy, jump rope for life. <laughs> Me personally, I met Dan. He told me jump rope's really cool, so I started jump rope and the rest is history. Will Reese asks, if one, synchronized, if one synchronized swimmer drowns, do the others drown too? Go. If the one, if the ones who are drowning around them care about the one who's drowning, they'll go with them. Ride or die. Next question, Raja. What was your motivation in the beginning? Why you started jump a rope, bro? <sighs> because I hated all their forms of working out, but I wanted to lose weight, so I went again to visit my friend in Boston, Brendan. Love you. And he was like, "Dude, start jumping a rope." I had a bunch of fun, and then I was like, "This is what I actually want to do, and this is actually going to help me lose weight." Um, so that's why I started jumping rope. And for me, um, I just had no idea before that jumping rope could be a replacement for cardio that I didn't like doing. And once Dan showed it to me, I was like, yes, let's start jumping rope all the time. Let's do Zen New Fitness. Let's, yeah. All right, next question, Hoff says, what new techniques are you working to perfect? If we're talking about jump rope, I wanna learn this move that's in one of the Jake Gyllenhaal videos that I haven't been able to yet, where you swing it to the side and then the other side before coming back under. Um, it's like a modified uh, single under. But one other big thing in my life that I'm working to perfect is dancing. I just wanna be an amazing hip hop dancer. Go. For me personally, I'm not working on any specific jump rope moves, but I'm learning how to become a world-class boxer right now. I'm preparing for my first amateur fight. So every day I'm training like two hours a day, getting ready for that. Hurry day. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Go. Ooh. Ooh, that's I have one. I have little use for the past and rarely think about it. It's a line from Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now. Is your happiness conditional? Ask myself that question all the time. I just actually read it recently in this book called The Untethered Soul. And always I get an opportunity to ask myself, yo dude, are you upset about something? Oh, does that mean that your happiness is conditional about around the world being a certain way? That's not how it is right now. If it is, that's not a happy way to live your life because you never have control. So you might as well just be happy unconditionally. Do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do that. Sure. Lois asks, how to incorporate weighted ropes into the workouts? All right, Lois, well, there's one thing you can do. You can either do the workout separately, do a whole workout with a weighted rope or with the agility uh, speed rope. Or what you could do is in the eight exercises, you could do four of the jump rope exercises with the agility rope mm. and four of them with the weighted rope to kind of mix it up a little bit, confuse your body. That's my advice, go Brandon. I personally would recommend, you know, starting off a workout with some of the heavy ropes. So by the time you get to the end, when you usually get fatigued, you bring out the lighter ropes and you become an absolute ninja whipping that around because it's gonna feel super light after using the heavy rope. Samurai. Question from Troy. He says, what college did you guys attend, if any? And if you did, what was your experience like? I'm at a point where I'm like, this is horse because I'm spending so much money and taking classes that aren't going to teach me anything that I couldn't learn in the workplace. You guys have just made me realize that I want to do things that I love. And right now, I don't love college, but at the same time, I understand that it's it's something society tells us we must do to be successful. Ooh. Dan, you got 30 seconds, go. Okay, first of all, it's, it's gonna take longer than 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I went to school at Westchester University in Pennsylvania. It's a small division two school, not very well known. It's an okay school, it's a state school, whatever. Um, college, look, let me be honest with you guys. Like I was a political science and economics major and like I don't, I haven't applied any of that. I got, and this also, by the way, I was like anal about getting perfect grades. So like I almost got like a 4.0 and I don't say that to brag. I say it because I didn't give a shit about class. Like I don't remember, I just studied to like get an A. And other than that, I, I thought nothing about class. I didn't care about learning the material. And frankly, I don't regret that because looking back, I don't regret going to college, but I could have spent my time Ten seconds. doing more stuff like that I do now and living a more fulfilled life and like growing a business. Like I wish I would have started a business and learned that kind of stuff. Um, so college, having said that, this is what I need to say. Having said that, 
the just the simple completion of college though is like you stick something out for four years and or maybe three years and you finish it so my advice to you is finish college but don't think that it's going to have anything to do with your success afterward go all right personally i went to whittier college when i graduated high school my goal was oh you know, go play college football Where's whittier, college? whittier college is in los angeles east los east los angeles small liberal arts school and i went there with the intention of playing football and figuring out after that and if I could go back in time, actually, I personally wouldn't have gone to college. And my recommendation for you is if you feel called to do something that is outside the alignment of like something that needs a linear degree, like a law degree or a doctor degree, then drop out of college right now and go pursue whatever you care about. Because personally, uh, I wish I would have done that. I wish I was exposed to the kind of things that Dan and I talk about all the time at a much younger age. If I was, I think I would have took a different direction. I just wasn't exposed to it. So you don't know what you don't know. Follow your heart, man. Whatever you do, if you work really hard and you stay focused and you feel purpose driven, you're gonna be successful. So if you feel passionate about school or not, do it. And if you feel passionate about something else, give it everything you have. Be relentless and understand that no matter what you do, it's gonna be hard, but enjoy the process. Boom. Do you guys have any plans for coming to India? Ask our boys to do. Of course we do. Man, we would love to come to India because there's a huge Zen dude fitness community in India. So as soon as we can, we're gonna go over there. I think it's yeah. just a matter of like, yeah, just organizing it and uh, getting our ducks in a row. Lakshya says, what if you want the Zen dude physique, but you have a lot of body fat? Should one be lifting weights simultaneously or focus on burning fat first using the jump rope and body weight exercises? Go. Well, lifting weights, to be totally honest, is a helpful way to burn a lot of fat. So we would suggest doing both, like lift weights and also do a lot of high intensity jump rope exercises to maximize your ability to burn fat. But also at the end of the day, remember, nutrition is the biggest thing, specifically eating the right amount of calories and macronutrients. If you haven't checked it out yet, Zen Dude Fitness Calorie and Macronutrient Calculator, it's linked up, go. I would recommend doing the most efficient thing possible, which is focusing number one on nutrition to get rid of that body fat. And then I would also lift weights. I would do something like the gaining muscle course where you're lifting a few times a week and doing jump rope workouts to burn additional body fat. Next question from Shay. Dan, were you gifted the ability to dance like a hip hop yeah. god or is it something you learned? How did you learn? Okay, first of all, I only started dancing about a year and a half, two years ago, just because I simply love it. But I am not anywhere close to a hip hop god. Like, the people who are hip hop dancers, like pros, they're insane. And I, I want to get to a level where I'm like really, really good. So I appreciate your love and support. But trust me, I'm nowhere near that top. But that is exactly what I'm shooting for. Because I, all I want to do is move my body and dance. So I want to be the best at it as I possibly can. Second says, how can you hit the gym and jump rope for five days? You hit the gym and jump rope for five days. Do the thing. Is Tiak says, I'm 18, I can't afford pre-workout or supplements, BCAs, or any supplement which is featured on your channel. Which food should I take before my workout? Bro, that is totally fine, first of all, because you're 18. You should be concentrating more so on food before getting into supplementation, because guys, you can always do every, you can accomplish your bodily and health goals, physique goals, just with food, okay? Having said that, I would recommend eating some fruit before a workout, kind of get yourself energized, get some good carbohydrates in that are burn. Um, yeah, that's it, that's my recommendation. Eat fruit before a workout. Yeah, I would say, you know, 30 minutes, an hour before your workout, maybe a banana, maybe two bananas. <laughs> Mindy asks, what are some simple meal and snack examples you recommend for fat loss? So I do the recommended calorie intake recommended per day on your website to lose fat. Will I lose weight if I'm compliant or is activity absolutely necessary to lose any? I wanna lose weight so that I can jump rope more efficiently. Go. You can totally lose a bunch of weight and look awesome without ever exercising at all. I think it's a ridiculous myth that like, you need to be running and lifting weights all the time. Like if your goal is just to lose weight, Hit your calorie, like figure out what your calories and macronutrients are on our calculator and start eating like that and you're just gonna lose weight. And actually, I also recommend that for people who are extremely obese but wanna start jumping rope, don't start jumping rope or exercising. Lose the weight first through nutrition and then begin one of our programs like the four week challenge, getting leaner again. 30 seconds. You cut me off, bro. I agree fully. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with jumping rope yet, hit your nutrition card and just start going on daily 30 minute to hour long walks. That has been Cactus Time with the Zen Dudes. I don't know if we mentioned this earlier, but uh, we have uh, some very rare Colombian cacti mm -hmm. here. Um, 
That's not true. You ask the questions, we answer them so you can live a more epic life with a jump rope and, and your body and traveling around the world and having fun, epic life, awesomeness, have fun, send your nation, do the thing. Yeah, if you want any of these products you see here, they're linked in the description below. And, and if you want to ask questions next week's thing, yeah. If you want to ask next, if you have, if you have questions for next week's cactus time, then uh, join our four week challenge or dojo and yeah. we will answer your questions when we post the question that says what questions you want to answer. Yeah, should we have the people on YouTube just like post questions still? Because they're YouTube. Ooh, people. and YouTube as well. Yeah. YouTube. Drop the questions below. Check it out, check it out, check it out one time. So yeah. if you are interested in joining our four week challenge, which is like you get daily access to Brandon and myself and a bunch of workouts and like just honestly just join it, you're going to be sad, like very satisfied. Mm -hmm. That link is below. But if you wanna, like typically we're gonna ask, we're gonna answer the questions that come from that Facebook group in the four week challenge. Mm -hmm. But also, if you don't wanna do that and you just wanna post your questions down below, I guess that's fine. Post your questions below and we'll answer them.